In this problem, we have a formula that gives the number of bacteria, N of T, in a refrigerated food product as a function of capital T, which is the temperature of the food in degrees Fahrenheit. So basically, as the temperature of the food goes up, the number of bacteria in the food product goes up as well. The food product is removed from the refrigerator, and its temperature can be modeled by the formula given here where little t is the time in hours after it was removed from the refrigerator, and the output of the function is the temperature of the food in degrees Fahrenheit. So basically this tells me that the temperature of the food when it's first taken out of the refrigerator is one degree Fahrenheit, and because the slope of this line is three, this means that the temperature of the food is going up three degrees Fahrenheit per hour. Our job is to find the composite function shown here so that you understand the story basically this function here has an input of time and if you plug in a time value the output of that function would be the temperature of the food so that's what one function does the other function given here notice the input is temperature and if you input the temperature of the food the output of this function is the number of bacteria in the food product so imagine a scenario where you're given the time at which the food product has been sitting outside the refrigerator and you're asked to find the number of bacteria in the food. This would be a two-step process. This function here would allow you to plug in the time at which the food was outside the refrigerator and it would predict the temperature of the food. And then you'd have to apply the second function here by plugging in the temperature of the food and it would predict the number of bacteria. So this is a two-step process. What function composition does is it creates a function and that's what our job is to create the function right here that will have an input of time and an output of the number of bacteria. So rather than having a two-step process where you plug in time and get out temperature and then plug in temperature and get out the number of bacteria, we want the composite function whose input is time and the output would be the number of bacteria and that would be a one-step process. Plug in time, get out the number of bacteria. Because we're ultimately applying the function capital N I'm going to copy down this function and wherever I see the input variable capital T for temperature I will put a set of blank parentheses and because we're plugging the function capital T into the function n I will replace inside each of these sets of parentheses the function t of t. Notice that capital T of t is 3t plus 1. This notation says that we're supposed to be plugging in this function into the function capital N. In fact, you could think of it as, using function notation, that wherever you see a capital T here, this is where we'll replace the function capital T, which is 3t plus 1. So without simplification, I need only take the function capital T of t, temperature is a function of time, and put it into these sets of blank parentheses where there used to be a capital T. Well, the function is 3 times t plus 1, so I'm basically substituting capital T of t with 3t plus 1. So without simplification, this would be the composite function. And notice the input now is little t for time, and the output would be the number of bacteria. As a follow-up question, suppose I was asked to find the number of bacteria after, say, 4 hours since the food was removed from the refrigerator. This could be found by plugging 4 into my composite function whose input is time. I will simply replace little t for time with the number 4 and if I replace this t with 4 and I replace that t with 4 it would predict the number of bacteria because that's the output of my composite function. So replacing little t which is time with the number 4 since the question is asking for the number of bacteria after four hours, wherever I see the variable lowercase t, I replace it with four for four hours. You can use a calculator or you can try to do some of the mathematics in your mind. For example, three times four is 12, 12 plus one is 13, and 13 squared is 169. So this would be 23 times 169. Here we have three times four is 12, plus one is 13. So I'll copy the left-hand side, copy down a slightly simplified version of the right-hand side. Now I'll move to a calculator to do the arithmetic for me. 23 multiplied by 169, subtract 
123, multiplied by 13, add the 27, and the arithmetic comes out that if you were to leave the food outside the refrigerator for four hours, that you'd have 2,315 bacteria. As an ordered pair, we could summarize the process by saying that the input was four and the output was 2,315. We don't put units inside of an ordered pair, but it's good for you to know that the four is in hours, that the food was outside of the refrigerator, and the units on the output were the number of bacteria.